I'm Kristen Siamber. I'm a GI medical oncologist at the Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center. So an important question in uh, colorectal cancer these days is how best to utilize immunotherapy, particularly um, in different stages and with, res um, with respect to other targeted therapies as well. Um, so what I think is that Fortunately, immunotherapy, particularly in MSI high colorectal cancer, is becoming more and more prevalent and a great option for many patients. We've known for a while that metastatic colorectal cancer often responds very well to immunotherapy and can lead to very durable responses. But now in the last year or two, we've seen really promising data in the localized setting in both colon and rectal cancer that is MSI high or deficient mismatch repair, that immunotherapy can have a really promising role there too, and perhaps even a avoid some other treatment modalities such as surgery, radiation, et cetera, and even chemotherapy. Um, occasionally we do see that targeted therapies are options for patients with MSI high disease. For instance, there's a high um, concordance of MSI high and BRAF mutations, V600D mutations, and those patients do have options um, with both of those, both immunotherapy and then BRAF targeted therapy. Um, but Often I see in colorectal cancer that immunotherapy, particularly in the MSI high status um, type patient is the preferred option, um, provided that there are no contraindications to use of that therapy. It's a very exciting time in colorectal cancer, particularly as we expand the use of immunotherapy and hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to figure out how best to utilize it in the microsatellite stable patient um, who traditionally has not responded to um, our uh, immunotherapy agents.